Hello friends, this is Arindam Mukhopadhyay and welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. Today we will discuss about DHS or Dynamic Hip Screw Fixation Procedure. So let's start the video. Dynamic hip screw or sliding screw fixation is a type of orthopedic implant designed for fixation of certain types of hip fractures which allows controlled dynamic sliding of the femoral head component along the construct. A dynamic hip screw is performed where the neck of femur has been fractured and where there is a good chance that it will heal if held in place by internal fixation. This consists of a large screw placed in the head of the femur and a plate held on to the side of the femur by several smaller screws. We will now discuss the process in details. So we start with an angle guide. These two are fixed angle guide and this one is a variable angle guide. These angle guides are used to insert guide wires in the fracture site. Fixed angle guides are available in 130 and 135 degree. For variable angle guides, it ranges from 95 degree to 145 degree. Starting from 95 degree, then 130, 135, 140 and 145 degree respectively. It is mentioned in the surface of the angle guide. The purpose of the angle guide is to help us insert the guide wire in a particular angle required for the surgery. Now in order to insert the guide wire, we will need a QC handle attachment for gripping. This allow us to hold the angle guide properly while inserting the guide wire. After this we remove the QC handle. and remove the angle guide. After that, we take the measurement with the help of a measuring scale. Now, how do we take the measurement? The measuring scale will go inside and once the measuring scale touches the bone surface, we take the reading of the guide wire. As long as the measuring scale is touching the surface of the bone, it should give the proper reading for the measurement of the guide wire. After this, we take a triple reamer, either a long barrel or a short barrel. If the measurement in the measuring scale comes above 80 mm, we will use a long barrel triple reamer. And if it is below 80 mm, we will use a short barrel. After this process, we will use a DHS tap with attachment, which is a short centering sleeve. And we attach a QC handle for better gripping. After tapping, we will use a T-handle with guide shaft and the long centering sleeve to fix the lag screw in the fracture site and then we remove the T-handle attachment. Now in order to fix a DHS plate, that is a dynamic hip screw plate, 
we will attach the plate holder or the coupling screw in this end of the lag screw. Now remember the guide wire is still present and all these attachments and implants are placed and attached with the help of the guide wire passing through these implants. Now we use a coupling screw or a plate holder to make the fixation of the DHS plate easier. Now comes the DHS plate, long or short barrel depending upon the fracture will be attached with the lag screw with the help of this coupling screw or the plate holder. This plate holder helps the DHS plate to slide through and get attached to the lag screw without any obstruction smoothly as you can see here. Now after the plate goes in we will remove this plate holder and we will just place the top screw or the compression screw on top of the lag screw and we will not tighten it yet right away. Now we are going to use the impactor to punch the plate so that it is properly fixed with the bone. We will place the impactor like this and we will start punching gently from the other end of the impactor for the proper placement of the plate. After that, for the next step, we are going to use a 3.2 mm drill bit to drill through the hole in the shaft region of the plate. And then we will use a 4.5 mm tap to tap through the drilled hole for smoother entry of the screws. After that we will use a depth gauge to measure the length of the screws to measure the length of the bolts needed to be fixed in this hole. After that we take the screw of the length required and with the help of a 4.5 mm solid screwdriver we are going to fix a 4.5 mm cortical screw through the drilled hole in the shaft region of the plate. We use the same process to fix any other screws in the shaft region of the plate. Thereafter, we will tighten the compression screw which was previously placed in the top of the lag screw. This will help in the compression of the fracture. Make a note, smaller the DHS hip screw, better the compression. If the screw length is as such it is popping out of this barrel of the DHS plate, the compression will be comparatively lesser from the one which just about covers the size of the barrel. This concludes the procedure of fixing a DHS plate. Now that was a part for the plate fixation. Now coming to the DHS plate removal, in case there are complications in the patient, we are going to use a T-handle with guide shaft to lock the lag screw. and preventing it from further movement. Once locked, the removal procedure starts. This basically constricts the movement of the leg screw.
Now after that we start rotating anti-clockwise to take out the lag screw. Once the screw is removed, then further measures are taken to remove the DHS screw, which we will cover in a later video. Now for the derotation screw, we will first use a 1.8 mm guide wire. Then we take the measurement with the help of a measuring scale. After checking the measurement, we'll use a 4.5 mm cannulated drill bit to drill Once the drilling is done, we will use a 6.5 mm cannulated tap to tap and then take a 6.5 mm cannulated cancellor screw of measured length with or without washer depending upon the choice of the surgeon and then use a 4.5 mm cannulated screwdriver to fix this screw through the guide wire. So that will be all for the process of DHS that is dynamic hip screw fixation with 6.5 mm D rotation screw system. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.